The issue was traced to a control unit inside the aircraft, known as the ELAC, Elevator Aileron Computer, one of the computers responsible for managing the plane's flight controls. Under rare conditions, the software could misinterpret corrupted data caused by radiation. This could lead to incorrect control commands, sudden changes in altitude, or unexpected aircraft behavior. It's important to highlight. There were no crashes and no confirmed fatalities linked to this bug. The system still had backups, and pilots were trained to respond. But Airbus decided not to take any risks, which brings us to the global recall. Airbus A320 family aircraft are among the most widely used planes in the world. They make up more than half of all commercial short-haul flights globally. So when Airbus announced the recall, airlines everywhere were affected in the US, Europe, Asia, the Middle East, and beyond. Some aircraft only required a quick software upload, similar to updating a phone or laptop, but with aircraft-grade procedures. Others, especially older jets, needed hardware replacements, which take longer and require engineers, inspections, and mandatory safety sign-offs. This led to delayed flights, preventive cancellations, and temporary grounding of certain fleets. Once Airbus confirmed the vulnerability, aviation regulators acted quickly. The European Union Aviation Safety Agency, EASA, issued an emergency airworthiness directive. The U.S. Federal Aviation Administration also mandated updates before any affected jet could fly again. Airlines had to submit compliance reports and verify that maintenance teams applied the fix correctly. This level of global coordination is rare and shows how seriously aviation treats even the smallest risk.